something very useful, the definite integral. Uh, now, I've just drawn you a little picture here so you can get a feel for what the definite integral does. Uh, this is f of x equals x squared, the quadratic you're familiar with. Uh, I've drawn some little dotted lines here, 2 and 3, and I'm going to shade in this area between the x-axis and the curve. And it might be useful to know how big that area is. Uh, now, we can guesstimate it, uh, because I know that that point there is um, 2, 4, and I know that that point there is 3, 9. Uh, and so what I end up with is well, two ways you can think about it, but I'm going to think about it. I'm going to turn it on its side and turn it into a uh, trapezium. Uh, the base is 9, that's 4, uh, it's 1 high, uh, and then I can come up with an area for that. Now that area is not going to be perfect, because that's not a line, it's a little bit more curvy than a line, but it's probably pretty close to the mark. Um, so I'll just find the area of that. Okay, so I think it's about 6.5 units squared. Uh, it's probably slightly less than that. Let's see how close I am by doing some real stuff, the definite integral. All right, so the area in question here is going to be equal to this. The definite integral between 3 and 2 of x squared with respect to x. A couple of things. It's going to be important what order you put the 3 and the 2 in. So the 3 should be on the top, the large number should be on the top, the smaller number should be on the bottom. Um, that's it. Okay. Next line here, open a bracket, and I'm going to integrate x squared, so that's x cubed over 3. Close the bracket. So I've done the integration part of it, but I haven't done the definite part of it yet. So I just move that 3 and that 2 over to here now. We're basically learning a little bit of notation and how it works all at the same time at this stage. Now this next bit can confuse some people, so make sure you follow along. So we're going to take 3 and sub it in for x. So 3 cubed over 3. So what I'm doing is taking 3 and subbing it into everything in that big set of square brackets. And then I'm going to subtract, and I'm going to sub 2 in to everything in that big set of square brackets. That's it. Now, if I calculate this, uh, 3 cubed is uh, 27, 27 divided by 3 is 9, minus um, 9 over 3, oh sorry, 8 over 3, minus 8 over 3, um, that's going to be 6 and 1 third. And we, given we're talking about area, we can just call it unit squared. That's it. I can check my little estimate here. I thought it was going to be about 6.5. It's actually about six, it's actually exactly 6 and one third. The definite integral, that's what it does. That's how you do it. Right, so I talked about area for a second. Let's put area aside for a little while because definite integral doesn't always tell you the area. We're just going to talk about the definite integral and we're going to use those steps to make it happen. So here's a second one that we're going to do here. Now, the first step is clear. If you want to find the definite integral of something, you need to find, first of all, the indefinite integral. So that's going to be 3x to the power of 4 over 4 plus uh, 2x. And then on our brackets, we put our 2 and our 1. Okay, and then we sub 2 into the thing in the brackets, or the function in the brackets, minus sub 1 into the thing in the brackets. So let's do our 2 first. So subbing 2 in we get 3, 2 to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2 times uh, 2, subbing the 2 into there. And then all of that we're going to subtract subbing 1 into the equation. So 3 times 1 to the 4 over 4 plus 2 times 1. All right, essentially it's just taking all of that now and putting it into your calculator or figuring out what's in the brackets, figuring out what's in the brackets and moving down from there. It's, it's just really boring from here. Done. 
Uh, so the definite integral, we're not going to talk about area at the moment because it might not be the actual physical area, which we'll talk about in a future video. The definite integral of 3x cubed plus 2 between 2 and 1 is 53 over 4. All right, that's the process, doesn't change. All the integration you've learnt, as long as you know how to integrate so you can put it into those brackets, and as long as you can just send sub numbers in, you can do definite integrals.